Hi everyone, I'm Isabella Sisilowati. I'm an excellent Power BI enthusiast with decades of experience in reporting, planning, and analysis. Teaching is my passion, and I publish weekly tips on YouTube every Thursday on how we can leverage excellent Power BI to work smarter, not harder. Today, I'll showcase how we can use map chart visualization in Power BI to draw useful insights from our data in a fast and easy way without the need for latitude and longitude. I'm going to show you how to create a map chart like this so that we can visualize where does the sales order come from. We've got the table over here that shows where the order quantity from each city and country and then each one are mapped as dots in the charts on the right. The map is interactive, you can move them to the left or to the right by click and drag your mouse and you can also zoom in. For example, I want to see where in North America does the order came from. So just hit the plus button and then click to the left and then hit a couple more times and you can now see the various states in the United States. If you want to zoom back out, hit the minus button again there you go. In this video, I'll show you three things. Firstly, I will show you how to create an interactive map chart in Power BI in less than a minute. Secondly, I will show you default formatting options available within Power BI so you can customize and enhance your chart if you have a bit more than one minute. Lastly, I will share some troubleshooting tips drawing from my previous experience which you may find useful just in case you get stuck along the way. For example, you may have previously attempted to create charts in Power BI and may be wondering, why is my data point not shown in the map? Check your data type. Or why are my cities not correctly mapped in Power BI? I've got an answer for that. Feel free to jump through the relevant sections of this video by utilizing the timeline sliding bar of the video. Let's get started. Let's recreate the chart together. Click the visualization pane, click map, and then let's start filling in the inputs. Yeah. So the first input that I'm going to put in there is the location and I'm going to search for the city. The city where my customer reside should be click and drag to the location. That's the first step. After that, you can see the dots appearing in the charts. And when you hover to each one, you will see the T name. Yeah. Now, but I also want to show the order quantity coming from each city. So let's type in order quantity. There it is. Click and drag and put them in size. Once you have done that, when you hover to the city, you can see order quantity appearing in the tooltips. That's great. That's exactly what we want. And then the next thing is I want to have the zoom plus and minus appearing so that it's easy to zoom in and out. So go to that format pane and then click map controls and turn on the zoom button. Now we have a zoom button which allow us to zoom in and zoom out as required. And we are done. When you click your charts and then go to format, there are a couple of useful options. For example, map styles, you can change your theme into a different one. For example, you can choose a dark color one, It'll be a bit dark, or you can make it aerial and it will look like that. But I prefer my previous one, which is roads. Feel free to, to play around. Also, in the formatting options, there are things like a heat map. Yeah. So heat map, you can turn it on and off. If you turn it on, for example, you can change the color of the dots depending on whether there is a lot of uh, sales order or not. So for example, if uh, there isn't much sales order, you can make it into red color so that you can see which regions that you don't have much sales or you can refer to default if you want it to be reset back to original. So that's my original, just referencing that, which is off. 
Okay. Now, a couple of formatting tips. There is also category. Uh, when you turn it on, you can show city's name so that it is clearer to the user. But I think it's a little bit overcrowded, so I'm just going to turn it back off. So those are a couple of useful formatting tips. Sometimes you try to drag your city into the locations, but the dots are not appearing. What to do? First thing to check is your data. Make sure that in the city, so look for your city in your data. Make sure that the data category is set to city as well. Yeah? It is important. The default is usually uncategorized. So if it is set as uncategorized, it won't show up in the map. So make sure it is set up to city. Now, if you have states, make sure it is categorized as state or province. If you have country, make sure it's categorized as country. If you have postcode, make sure it's categorized as postcode. That's a very important troubleshooting step. Watch out, sometimes Power BI is not accurate. For example, Cliffside Canada is being mapped in New York. And that's probably because we have two cities called Cliffside, one in Canada and one in the United States of America, and Power BI is confused. So, how do we troubleshoot this? The way to do that is by creating an input to our Power BI map chart, which is not just city, but a combination of city and countries. Yeah. So, how do we do that? Let's go to data field. Yeah. We are going to create a new field in here that will merge country and city. Hit new column and then wait for a second. We're going to call it country, comma, city. And the formula will be customer, country, region, and space, comma, space, and customer city so we are creating a field which is a combination of country and city okay good now once we have done that very important step is to categorize the data as place so that power bi recognizes this and able to map it on the map chart if you don't do this it won't show up as dots in your map charts yeah so once we have done that, go back to our charts, change that location, which was previously city, uh, hit the cross button, and then that's our newly created one, country city. Click and drag that, or just tick that plus button. Yeah. Now, once we have done that, watch, cliffside is now changed. It is now located near Toronto, which is correct. This is in Canada. I sincerely hope that you have learned something useful and will be ready to infuse map charts in your future Power BI report. See you next time.